This thing is super sharp. And it weighs a ton. What an amazing little lens. It's a 12 millimeter. And there's, I don't have the 12 millimeter in the Rokinon series. I have the 10, and I have the 16, and I have the 14. And I'll bet you this lens is easily twice as heavy as any one of those lenses, except maybe the 14. Um, but this is a, I'm very impressed with this lens. Amazing build quality. So far, so good. Doesn't kick a lot of color on the front element which is sometimes a concern. Um, it flares real easy. I notice there's a lot of ghosting if I point towards a, a window this morning. Um, so that is going to require that I'm super vigilant to use a matte box. It's a lot like the zines. The zine lenses are the same way. They'll flare really quickly. Um, but that's kind of neat because when you want it, a lot of the modern lenses are really hard to get to flare because the multi-coatings are so precise and so efficient that you don't get much action on the flare. So to have a lens that is real reactive, I think, is is uh, is going to be a real plus. And gosh, the size, it's, it's terrific on the GH. I got it on the GH5 right now. It's really terrific. A nice, perfect size for that camera body. And I'm going to try it on the pocket uh, cinema camera from Blackmagic here shortly and see how, you know, ergonomically how it feels on that camera body. I think it'll be fine. And I think, wow, the weight of this lens with the Blackmagic cinema pocket camera with its cage and, and uh, follow focus gear is, uh, is going to be a pretty heavy prospect. So, wow, I can't wait to check that out.